key. So, don't wait. The Labor Day Celathon ends soon. Big trucks rule the road. They're dangerous and they can cause big, bad injuries. But the big trucking companies don't stand a chance against us. These companies have big insurance policies. And if you're hurt by one of these monsters, we'll make sure they open up their tech book and pay up. If you've been hurt by a big truck, call us. We're the Law Brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at four, celebrating these hometown heroes after the all-star team from El Segundo wins the Little League World Series. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And today for Pedro Rivera, fans are lining the streets in El Segundo right now to welcome the new Little League World Series champions home. More celebrations in store for this all-star team. KTLA's David Pingalor is live along the parade route in El Segundo with details on all those festivities. Ping, I, we saw you get a high five from a firefighter. What's going on now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I don't even know what was going on there. It was such a melee, but it was very exciting melee. And we have some kids here. They want to come on from school. They were like, can, can you get us on KTLA? There you go. Just out of school. And they were here celebrating uh, the Little League World Series champions here from El Segundo yesterday. It all ha happened in walk-off fashion. It was pretty unbelievable. It was a 5-5 game. And Lewis Happy's 12-year-old young man, stands six feet one inch he gets up there and he hits a walk off home run for the little league champs now of el segundo winning against carousel final score six to five and just moments ago as you mentioned we were live showing you the parade route town of 3500 caught up with the mayor he was all about this he was there over the weekend this is a team that had to stave off double elimination they had to win five straight games to win this Little League World Series, and they did it in historic fashion. The first Southern California team to do it since 2011 when Huntington Peach were Little League World Series back then. The mayor, you say what to all this? I was unreal. I mean, it was just, when they tied up the game, it was just, you could feel like that kind of the wind coming out of your sails and then when Lappy got up there and hit that home run it was just like I mean it was insane you could hear the crowd in El Segundo you know back there all right sky five is high and above the, the parade route just continues on but here in front of uh, City Hall they were uh, lining the streets, so they're going to make their way through El Segundo right now on a beautiful day as they arrive from Williamsport Pennsylvania touching down about uh, an hour and a half ago and then they came down here and we still have some young people right here how excited is this <laughs> we got the little kids come on in here you guys all get in here you know one day maybe uh, some little leaguers right here go to Williamsport but uh, right now they're ecstatic about it but they're gonna all be back in school tomorrow right yep. yeah they're going to school tomorrow so there you go Courtney and uh, I mean, this was pretty <laughs> unbelievable. And Sandra, a beautiful day here in El Segundo. Yes, I had fire trucks blowing in my ear the whole thing. It's still ringing in my ear. That's it. <laughs> that so, explains it. Right, who's working right now? Sam? Who's in there? <laughs> Wait, who's in there right now? Sam? I, me, I don't yeah. even know. It's so loud. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that Kai laughing in there too, Abby? Yep. <laughs> yes, yeah, so nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see so Kai in just a second. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> Sorry, Thank I, can't you. Really, I can't really hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you stepped outside today, like you see Ping, I don't know if he's sweating because it's hot or maybe he got put on he's the hot a seat nervous. for a second. Yeah. Excessive heat warnings are in place for much of Southern California. Yeah, really uncomfortable. Yeah. We have a live look right now at downtown Los Angeles. Side. Uh, we're taking a look at a little bit of haze back there in the distance. We do have some uh, pretty unhealthy air quality there, and you can kind of see that represented some fine particulate matter from all that air blowing down from the desert. But 106 degrees in Woodland Hills today, 103 in Santa Clarita, 96 in Anaheim, and 115 in Palm Springs. Those were our.